yeah. Let's take a quick ride real quick. Good evening YouTube. Welcome to the channel of The Wolf and the Cat. As you may know, I'm the wolf and here we are inside the cat, aka my wild cat. Um, pretty much I bought her, I, just, I bought her two months ago and uh, so far I have been loving this car since I drove it off the lot. It's one of my dream cards since I've ever wanted, you know. I was one of those that always went to YouTube videos, you know, and I just started, like, looking them up, um, seeing uh, point-of-view videos, and just imagine myself there. And finally, I am able to, I was able to uh, own one. So, <clears throat> it's been, uh, hard work does really pay off. Um, anyways, um, just a, um, couple of questions, uh, that some of you may have that i like to answer. First of all, the wolf and the cat, the title. All right. So about me, the wolf, why did I call, why do they call me the wolf? All right. So I have a huge passion and for, uh, the wolf wildlife, um, I did some research. I did some research on them. I love studying them. Um, they are just like the best uh, motivational animals out there. They're very, you know, what they do, and so that's just. And I see myself as, you know, part of the pack. In my point of view, that's what gets me moving. You know, um, and it's grown on me. So some people, when they see me, they call me the Wolf Man. Uh, they know who, who, you know, what I do. Um, what I'm all about, you know, etc. Um, and of course, uh, the cat. Uh, basically, just my car. It is a 2018 uh, Charger Hellcat. Um, pretty much stock, except the only thing modded, the only thing that I replaced was the airbox with a JLT cold air intake. Best intake, in my opinion. Um, the whine is a lot louder. Um, I didn't expect any horsepower gains without tunes, of course, and other supporting mods. But uh, pretty much, it's just still um, stock everything except for the in, uh, cold air intake. Um, but that's just really about it. Um, so I'm just going to go through um, the car here and just show you what I got. Of course, like I said, it's stock. So here we are. Stock everything. Except for that right over there. That right there is my little two-door charger. I believe it's a 72. I had to put it on there just to, uh, you know, because um, the classics are always the best, of course. Um, just little thing on the screen. I know it's hard to see, but my favorite setting on this so far is um, having it. Let me turn it on for you. So we got track, sport, custom, and default. Of course, um, when I'm just going to drive it just to cruise around, I'll keep it on eco mode. Uh, yes, even when I have somebody who's wanting to line up all the time. But uh, honestly, there are days where I just want to cruise and not race at all. Um, fact. These things will eat up tires like crazy. That is a fact. I've heard about them. They said when you get a car like this, be prepared to spend a tremendous amount of money on tires because they will go out very quickly. 
And I don't even do like burnouts or anything like that. Like all the time. I'm talking just by driving because it's got so much power that even when I just want to like on a stoplight, like once it's green and I just hit the gas pedal very slowly, the car, you can feel the car spinning. And that's just, you know, all that power. And this is even on eco mode. This thing is crazy. Now, let me show you my little custom setup that I like. So why I like to have it on uh, traction and street and suspension street, um, I feel like when it comes to like road races or anything like that and taking off, it just helps. I felt a big difference. Uh, of course, until I get my drag radials in, which is my Weld Wheels and my Mickey Thompsons, I'm gonna be uh, uh, hooking better. I still spin, of course. Uh, street tires are not the best when it comes to this car. I'm still running the stock Pirellis, 275s, 45s in the rears, and 275, 40s in the front. Um, we got sport mode. And uh, that's just all with, you know, everything the same. Uh, traction, sport, suspension, sport. Uh, the only difference that I feel on that is just the shifting on the car, which is very, still pretty good. But I honestly still prefer my custom setup when it comes to uh, the uh, track setup other than sport. You know, it's still, the, to me, the difference is that the track, I feel like the tr uh, on the track, um, it's just a lot better for me than the sport. Some people may not notice the difference, some do, but in my opinion, I would rather, if I'm going to do like any races, I will always put it in um, a track setup. Of course, with the traction on street and suspension on street. Now, I'll show you the SRT performance here, pretty good. Now they did say it kind of takes a while uh, for these things, but this goes on pretty quickly, you know, I uh, haven't been disappointed at all. Let me show you some real quick. All right, so of course, we got your gauges here, and here you have the oil temp, the oil pressure, coolant temperature, and so on and so forth. I don't really pay much attention to these whenever I'm running because I'm not looking at the screen, of course, I'm looking at the road. Uh, when we do road races in Mexico or just dig races. Um, my other gauges, you got boost pressure, LP ratio, coolant temp, and intake air temperature. Uh, you guys want to take a look at that. And the G-Force. I have not used this yet, but the G-Force on this car is like crazy. So I'm sure it's pretty good. And when I want to play with it, I will. But right now I haven't got a chance to. This is my favorite one, the engine. So you got your horsepower, your torque, and all the power there, right there. So it's, of course, like I said, I'm stocked, so I'm only going to 707. And <clears throat> I forgot how much torque these things come stock. But everything's all stock, like I said, for 100 times. My navigation, um, of course, I got my home address there, my work. Best thing I like about this is um, it tells it will tell you where you're at. So right now, 918 Oklahoma, Tulsa, and where I'm at at the moment. So um, navigation, I really it came with the car. Don't really care for it, but I've been using it a lot lately. <laughs> so I pretty much like it. Um, of course, you guys start to your launch. I don't really use the launch modes as much. Um, I have used it once just to try it out. Of course, I spun really bad. And this was not racing anybody. I just wanted to try it out. Um, that's uh, pretty much it on the whole interior. Of course, you got... <sighs> that smudge the cat. Gotta have that car deck on there. Gets people to laugh when they pass by me. And the whole um, SRT, if you guys can't see it, though. So, uh, I'll move on to the engine. I'll, we'll take a quick look at that really quick. All right, guys. Here you are. Here's the 2018 Charger Hellcat. Uh, pretty much everything stock. Go all around. Take a quick look at it. 
Say hello to Fudge. It's my favorite sticker on here. <laughs> and of course, you can't forget the 1320. It's got to represent. Uh, she's a little dirty, you know. It just rained here uh, just a few days ago. And uh, in case anybody asks, why I got a four door. <laughs> but she sounds pretty good stock. I like it. And uh, of course, if you want to go on Instagram, you can order your uh, cards for cancer. That's where I got my little deco to donate a teddy bear to a child in a hospital. Uh, that's just what I like doing. I like giving back and uh, something that I appreciate too. Um, let's go on to the engine really quick. So, of course, like I said, everything's stock. JLT intake, you guys can see that. Uh, I'd show you the light on here, but uh, my damn phone literally is on 5%, so of course it won't work. Uh, pretty much you'll see in a stock Hellcat, except for the air intake. Um, no issues, everything is like running pretty smooth. I love this car, That's like I said a thousand times. <coughs> um, that's pretty much it so uh thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys like the introduction of my hellcat i will be bringing more content here pretty soon uh please like and subscribe and uh there will be plenty of more videos like i said um it won't just be about cars in general i will also be filming other hopefully youtubers in the future and meeting other people, life, uh, life, uh, what do you call it? Nightlife, um, and just enjoying this car uh, with some few other friends. Of course, we'll get some good videos when it comes to running in Mexico and seeing how this thing runs with the other competitors. But I will soon be able to, uh, my plan for this car, I forgot to mention, um, I wanna be running 900 wheel horsepower, but of course, I'm gonna be starting at the back which is a very must, like when it, um, the differentials. People ask me if I'm gonna go 309s or 265, which is the stock ones. I think I'm gonna say 265 for now, just to see how it goes. Of course, I'm gonna go with the carbon fiber differential, uh, weld racing wheels with Mickey Thompson's in the rear and skinnies in the front. Um, you guys will hopefully be seeing my uh, races whenever I get those done. So hopefully that'll be uh, that'll be uh, better in the future. So uh, thank you guys, and uh, hope to see you pretty soon. Deuces. Hey.